Hey y'all, my name is Taylor. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today I'm gonna to be doing the mid-year freakout book tag. So I always have to be slow and cognizant of how I say that title because I always mix up those words. There's just a lot in that title, so that's why I said it weird. Um, but anyways, yes, it is that time of year. Can we believe it? I can't. Um, but it's been great seeing everybody's videos pop up and I've been meaning to do mine, but I'm a little bit behind. So here we are. Uh, I wanted to go through my goals first and then get into the actual mid-year freak out tag questions. My first goal is to read 60 books for the whole year, and I am currently at 27. Um, so I'm a little tiny bit behind, but I'm not too bad about it. I mean, that's pretty close. And usually in December, there's like shorter books in there. So I usually kind of get several in December. So hopefully I'll still be able to meet 60. Uh, goal two is to participate in reading challenges and readathons. That's going really well. I am currently participating in four reading challenges and I'm managing to pretty much keep with all four of them, which I am stoked about because last year I tried to do one challenge and I epically failed. So this is, we're doing good. Um, so one of them is Oshina's Christian Romance Reading Challenge and I have hit six prompts, so one per month so far, so yay. I'm definitely on track for that one. Um, if you're curious, that is where I'm at with hers. Um, so yes. And then, uh, Chantel's Read Your Bookshelf Challenge. I started with Doyle and I'm sticking with Doyle so far. And I have done, um, well, I haven't done them all in the month that we were supposed to, but I've been catching back up. So now I've only got to get caught up on one, which is the June one. So... Um, I have, well, my reading journal thing is a little messed up, but, uh, I still need to do the June one for read a science fiction or fantasy book. So that is not going to be hard. I just actually have to do it. And then let's see, I'm doing Jane Reed's Christian fiction challenge and I'm one behind on this one too. So I still need to do May's, um, which is a one word title. So have, have yet to read that just yet. Um, and then I'm, the last one I'm doing is Katie's Read Around the World-a-thon. And I am on track for this one too. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. Yay. Uh, and then let's see, uh, read the complete Narnia series and I'm on book. Where is it at? Where did I even? Oh, there it is. Uh, I've read three out of seven, I think six or seven. I can never remember. I, I always say this on video. I was like, how many books are in this series? Is there six or seven? And I always forget to check. And then I get filming and I'm like, I don't know how many there are. So I've read three of them though. Um, so yeah, I need to up the pace a little bit. Uh, and then four consistently use reading journal, pretty low key. I've been, yeah, I'm keeping up with it, writing down video ideas and keeping up with my challenges. So I will count that as a win. Um, booktube goals, uh, post one video every other week. And so far I've been pretty much able to do that. Um, I did two videos per week for a while and now I'm kind of doing one a week. Um, just cause of life. <laughs> um, and then, uh, the second one was to host a readathon, which I did back in February. So yay, my reading and booktube goals are going pretty well. Now, answer the questions of the tag. So, best book you've read so far? I have two of those. One of them is Recorder by Kathy McCrum. This is a Christian science fiction. I am a sci-fi girly, but I haven't read uh, many books. Like, I am a sci-fi TV and movie girly, but the book world, I knew I'd probably like it, but I haven't actually 
read that many so I'm very very surprised with this one it also has a romance the characters are phenomenal one of the best bands of characters I've ever read if you haven't read it please read it it's really really good for a lifetime by Gabriel Meyer so this one is not a shock at all I knew this would be on my favorites of the year's list if it wasn't I would be very very shocked um, yeah third book in the timeless series we'll see how book four competes with this one We'll see. Number two, best sequel you've read so far this year. And that one goes to Hunting Sirens by Mary Meckham. This is the sequel to Becoming Hook. This is a gender flipped uh, Little Mermaid retelling. So um, the Little Mermaid is not so little. He's a hulking guy. <laughs> and, um, but the, uh, Prince character is not uh, tucked away in a castle. She uh, has a vendetta against sirens because they're killing her people. So it's kind of a forbidden romance, you know. So it was very entertaining. I liked it. Number three, new release you still want to read. So um, there's actually a whole series that I've been wanting to get to. And it's the Sacrificed Hearts series. It's a multi-author series, um, uh, kind of fantasy, fairy tale esque and the covers are phenomenal. Like, they're so gorgeous. Um, I wanted to read the one with the mask, <laughs> uh, when I, for the longest, because I think I saw that cover first. Something about it, like, masquerades. I love masquerades. Um, so that one is very intriguing, but all of them look so good. So, um definitely need to get to those at some point. Um, I don't have a, a Kindle Unlimited membership anymore, so um, I don't know when I'll get to them though. So I may just end up buying hard copies, but we'll see. Uh, number four, most anticipated book for the second half of the year, Across the Ages by Gabriel Meyer. This is book four in the Timeless series. And I'm, most, I'm more excited about this one than I was about book three because 1920s and pirates. Yes, please. I need to know. I need to know. And the cover. The cover is my favorite out of all of them. So that means it has to be great, right? It's, it's Gabriel Meyer. The cover is stellar. <sighs> I'm ready. Okay. So number five, biggest surprise. So that would be The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And this is the biggest surprise because I loved it. I rated it five stars. Uh, I thought it would be like a, sounds bad, like a stuck up <laughs> classics book, like a really hard to read, really dense, boring classic. And it wasn't, it was very engaging, very atmospheric. The audiobook I did, I listened to was really, really good. It helped me get sucked in, really. I re highly recommend you read it in, like, the fall time. Um, I didn't. I read it uh, spring. And, yeah, it's just, it's just, like, fall in a book. I really, really liked it. Um, number six, new favorite author. That has to go to Kathy McCrum because I love the Children of the Consortium series. <sighs> Such a good series. One of my favorite series of all time now. There's three of these books. So I can safely say that she's a new favorite author because I've read more than one by her and I was very pleased. I think those are the only books she's written so far. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So anything she writes in the future, probably going to try it out for sure. Number seven, newest fictional crush. I don't like this question as a married person, um, but I'm going to tweak it to say um, my newest favorite fictional character. I feel like that's much safer um, and kind of more interesting too um, because it's actually a female. I looked at all the male and female characters that I've read and actually it was a girl. So um, Jerusalem's daughter, uh, Jenna Van Mark, wrote this book. And Shamira, she is a new favorite character because she has such faith and she's very inspiring and I want to have faith like her and it's just really, I loved her character. Just 
she's so good. Number eight, a book that made you cry. If I can figure out how to put the cricket sound in here, I will. Because, um, yeah, I, no, no, no book has done that to this date <laughs> ever uh, as an adult. I have had that happen as a kid, but as an adult, not yet. Movies can do it to me, but books so far, not yet. I feel so heartless saying that. Um, but I don't know what it is. Movies just have a visual stimulation that makes me cry for sad moments. I don't know. Maybe that says my imagination is poor. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I haven't cried, um, to date for a book. So give me your recommendations as to what book I should read that will make me cry. Maybe I'll do like a vlog, like these books will make me cry. I don't know. That sounds very emotional and like, do I really want to do do I really want to do that? But maybe I'll do it. I don't know if I get enough recommendations of, of cried tear, tear jerker books. But anyways, uh, number nine, worst book you've read so far. So I'm going to say two different answers because um, I'll say one that I finished and one that's a DNF. So the DNF um, was Smile Beach Murder by Alicia Bissett. And this was a random find that I ran across in the library. The cover is really cute. It's a mystery and it's set in a fictional um, North Carolina Outer Banks Island beach. Um, and yeah, I had all the hopes for it and it's secular and um, I thought I would try, <laughs> try to read it. And I just, there were things that just kind of built up. And then the kicker was, um, you can look on my grid reads, I think, and see my update for it. But the kicker, the two kickers were um, referring to a lighthouse as a part of the mill anatomy. What? Uh, that was not a sexual scene at all. So that was completely um, weird and unnecessary and um, the book, I, don't, I don't even know if the author, this sounds bad, but I don't even know if the author just has weird word phrases because she just kept using weird words that you wouldn't use. Like she called teeth chompers and I was like, okay. But then she referred to the lighthouse that way and I was like, I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. And then, um, she has two... Christian characters in there that are not portrayed well at all. And I don't feel like, I, well, I don't know if that was on purpose, but I don't appreciate it. So, um, yeah, so that was a DNF and, um, the finished book that I read that was, uh, the worst book I read, uh, was the mailbox by Mary Beth Whalen. This is a disappointment to me. It's part of my vacation vlog if you haven't seen it, but yeah, it is set in my family's um, va favorite vacation spot, so it's optimistic. It did deliver on the nostalgia for me as far as, like, the setting, but the um, the love story was, um, I, I thought there was some moralistic, uh, Christian moralistic things wrong with it. So if you want to hear my thoughts on it, <laughs> you can go check out my vlog or my Goodreads. Number 10, the most beautiful book you've acquired, and I've had several this, this year, um, but the one that stands out to me is The Illustrated Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and I got this as a gift from my mom, and I don't know, I, it's just, I don't know, it's vintage looking, I don't know, it has a pretty inside cover. And the whole thing is illustrated and I'm not doing a very good job, but it's beautiful inside and out. So I'm really looking forward to reading um, more Sherlock Holmes, like from the first, the first book all the way through. And I'm very, very excited to, to read this edition and be dazzled by pretty pictures at the same time. So, um, number 11, books still on your 2024 TBR. 
There's a lot of those. Um, but I picked out one of them. Um, and this one also could be a contender for a beautiful cover. But Suspended in the Stars by E.A. Hendricks. I keep talking about this. I keep saying, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. And then I don't. Why have I not read it? Who knows? Maybe it'll be a July book. We'll see. Um, but it's like space opera romance. I'm so excited, but it, it, it's so pretty. But um, yeah, so it, it's, it's going to be read this year. I am dedicated to reading it this year. When it will be this year, who knows, but I will read it this year. Hold me to it. Okay. So that's all the questions. So, um, yeah, let me know some of your answers to this question, uh, or these questions rather. Uh, I guess if you want to just pick one, tell me the book, best book you've read so far this year. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I was blanking. I thought there was something else, but that, that is all. Um, so yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye y'all.